everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined by Sir Cubberbun, my co-host, who is going to pass me the ear. He's chewing me back! No! That's not for you! I have some fringing items and he seems to like to chew them. So today's video is going to be a fashion haul. It's going to include... So, it's like this. <laughs> it's going to include a couple of different stores, so H&M, uh, Public Desire, and Dorothy Perkins, River Island. So yeah, it's a couple of different stores, shoes and bags and clothes. Let's get into it. So I'm going to start with clothes, and the first item are these Coachella, H&M loves Coachella um, lace bell bottom trousers. So they are from the Coachella range from H&M which I love, so this, this stuff's just amazing but this is the only item I managed to get from it. Um, I also wanted to fringe skirt but I didn't have it but I have one and that will be in today's haul. So it's basically like lace and then with obviously something underneath so you don't see the panties but then once you go into the leg it is like see-through. Um, and then they go down into like a bell bottom shape which is obviously classic 70s. Uh, so these are kind of like boho 70s which is really on trend and big at the minute. Uh, I got these for 20% discount so I think they were 13 and they were meant to be 15. Is that right? Yeah, something like that. So yeah, um, I will say that the sizing is weird. It's like small, medium, large, extra small. And normally I'm like an extra small and I had to size up and get a small because there was absolutely no give in the extra small. I couldn't pull them over my legs. Oh my god. So they're quite small fit now I think. Um, so yeah, I got these in the small. They're £15 but at the minute they're on 20% student discount so I love these. I do have a picture of those trousers on on my blog. Um, the blog post is called Coachella so I'll leave a link to my blog down below if you want to see how to style them or how they look on because a lot of people have already commented saying I had no idea how to style these, like you look good in them, like thank you for all the nice compliments by the way because it was a challenge for me to style up as well, it's not my usual thing. So thanks for all the lovely comments and I'll leave that below in case anyone wants to see what they look like on. Next item is this misguided cape blazer. Um, so it's basically a blazer, oh it's going to be hard to show you. So your arms come through there and then it's, it's not sleeves, it's more like a cape. So it's just white, I'm sure you've seen a lot of people wearing this, uh, bloggers. Um, Lavish Alice does one which is pretty much exactly the same and then it's just white on the back. Uh, and this was 45 for a black one and I think it's kind of like a browny, beigey camel one and then Lavish Alice do one as well. So carrying on with the Coachella Boho theme, um, I got this skirt. Like I said, I wanted the fringe skirt from the Coachella H&M's range which was 7 99 but it's sold out. So I found this one on ASOS. Um, it's just amazing. I think it's a bit more, um, it's probably a better quality than the H&M one because this one was 30 and that one was 7 99 uh, I think that one was like thicker kind of just strands of material cut whereas this is actually like threads. I don't know what you would call this. Um, and then it's just got like stitching and a crochet. I don't know like it's just really pretty. And then it's just a bodycon skirt up the top. It is floor length. Um, you have to wear heels with this, like unless you're really tall. I have to wear heels with this and it's still like this far off the floor. Um, like just, so it's definitely a one for the heels. Um, but it's just so nice on, it moves so nice. And, uh, so yeah, I got this student discount as well. So this was £27 and that was from ASOS and I absolutely love it. The next item is this faux leather jacket. I assume it's faux leather. It could be real leather. I don't think so though. But it feels like real leather. It's really nice. It's really soft. It's um, from River Island. It's in this kind of lilac colour. Uh, I got it in size 8. It was originally I think 65 or 85. And I got it in sale for 40. And the best part is is that it has a huge fur collar which is removable obviously. And I have removed it because it's spring and I've been wearing the coat without the faux fur, so I will show you what it looks like on. So this is the faux fur collar. It's quite big and luxurious. It's like a cream colour. Um, it's so pretty. So that just goes on the collar, like, sorry, it just goes onto the jacket. Um, it's got little loops and then there's buttons. 
around which just goes on so I will show you what that looks like on. So that's what it looks like with the faux fur on. Uh, I haven't buttoned it all the way around properly because it'll just take too long. Um, uh, you know I just can't be bothered, I've got fake nails on, it's not good. But that's what it looks like on. It was in a few colours, um, in black with like a white trim. This is the lilac with the cream trim. Um, and yeah, it was in the sale for £40 and I, I really love big faux fur collar coats from this guy. Uh, from River Island. It's so nice on and it's such good quality as well so I absolutely love this. So moving on to bags. I got this little nude quilted clutch from ASOS. This was in the sale for £5. Um, it's literally the exact same bag that Miss Guy was selling at the minute for 18 Apart from this is more of a, a shiny matte and I think theirs is more of like paint, like PU kind of material. So it's not the biggest. It's quite pink inside but it's you know it's a good size like I've worn it um, for an evening now and it was plenty big enough for all my stuff um, and yeah and it was five pound in the sale so that's absolutely gorgeous from ASOS. The next bag is from Dorothy Perkins um, this one is bigger than the ASOS one like quite a bit bigger so it's really oversized um, it's metallic it's kind of like a gold colour um, but not like bright gold in your face and it just says party bag because I don't really like the slogan that much. It's cute but I think I'll probably wear the bag that way when I use it out and it's really big. Um, it's plenty big inside and it just has oh, a little gold kind of PD for public uh, desire. For, no, DP for Dorothy Perkins on the zip. Um, and this was £3 and I got a student discount, so it was £2.70. Mm, £2.70, you can't go wrong, I love it, so just, well, yeah. Next bag is this fringed bucket bag from H&M. Uh, yeah, like I said, fringing is huge this year, although I don't know if I did say that, but yeah. Fringing is really big this year, it's the whole 70s boho trend. Um, so I decided to get a fringe bag. Originally I just wanted a normal handbag shaped bag. Um, but when I went in to get the one I wanted, there was this bucket one and it's it's just amazing. It's so nice. Like it's fringing all the way around. It's got this drawstringy bit which makes it like open, obviously. It's a really big, like like it's got loads of room inside. It's got this detachable little handle which is just really cute. And then it's got like the long one to wear, so like right down the shoulder or across the body. Um, so I just I just think it's so nice and this was £25 but H&M are doing 20% student discount like I said before with the trousers so I got this for £20. Um, Primark do the exact same bag but a lot smaller and not as nice material for £9 so if you weren't really bothered about you know the material and you wanted a bit of a smaller one then Primark do do a £9 one. But I wanted the bigger one because this is going to be my day bag now for a while. So yeah, I just can't wait to use this more. I just think it's so great. Onto accessories, although I suppose bags are accessories. So onto sunglasses. Um, I got these little cute sunglasses from ASOS. Um, they are cat eye with like a high eyebrow it says. Um, it's like gold across here. But it's not really in your face gold. Like sometimes when I look at them they look silver. So these fit like that. Um, they're not really huge, which I would like them to be bigger because I like big sunglasses. But I just think they're really like glamorous and just so pretty. And I've seen Kirsty Doll, fashion blogger, wearing them. And I was like, I need these in my life. So these were £12 and I got a student discount um, on ASOS. So I can't remember how much they were, like 10 80 or I don't know, something like that. So yeah, um, I just think they're really cute and I've been wearing them loads since I got them. To shoes, my favourite. So I got three pairs of shoes from Public Desire. Um, these were the first pair. They are the nude. I can't remember. Does it say the name on them? These are the Nadia shoes. Um, they come in white. They now come in nude PU. This is the new suede, which they didn't when I got them, but I like the suede anyway. And they come in black as well, I think. So, um, yeah, like they're just they're really really like so like I don't know. They feel really dainty just holding them here. Like the, there's no platform. They fit so like nice, but I will say that um, they are shaped to the leg. My legs are quite skinny, so they're not a great fit on the leg. On the foot, they are they're really nice, um, but they're a bit 
big on the leg and if I tighten them with like the lace up detail at the front um, it makes it tight on the leg so it looks better but then when I walk like they go down because they're tight like they just end up going down so I have to leave them loose and um, yeah they don't look too big so that it's like oh my god like I have pictures on my Instagram with them on if you want to see them on um, but I will say if you have like little skinny legs like me then you do have to wear them loose and if you have really skinny legs they might look too big um, but yeah I just think they're great oh god how much were these I think these were 40 but I paid 36 because I got 10% student discount I think you'd have to check online but I will link everything I've shown today below if it's still available which these definitely are Public desire. the next shoes are these Layla shoes in the patent uh, nude or full leather nude uh, it says nude PU on the box and um, they'll just lace up the front and little zips on the back and oh these are so gorgeous um, I've wanted these for ages and they sold out and they came back in stock and I was like mine must have these were 30 again I got student discount so they were 27 um, they fit so nice like oh they're so nice on. <laughs> I have pictures on my Instagram if you want to see them on I always take pictures of my shoes that I buy straight away and just like put them on Instagram like I love shoes and these are so nice on and definitely worth the money they also have them in white which I'm not as fussed about um, I don't think they look as nice but they have them in black PU and black suede and I am extremely tempted but I'm restraining because I have black lace from Primark so and I also have another black pair of lace-ups which I'm going to show in a minute, but they're a bit different. So yeah, I absolutely love these. And the last pair of shoes and the last item in this haul, I believe, are again Public Desire and... Oh my god, these are like my favourite shoes that I own now. Like, i seen them on the website um, and I was like, wow, like they're really nice. Like, you know, I'll get them. And I got them in the black PU. Um, I tried them on. I can't even explain you how nice these shoes are. Like if you're thinking about getting them, just get them. Like I want them in every colour, that's how nice they are. They are quite high um, and I would recommend not tying them too tight on the ankle because then they're just pretty uncomfortable to walk in. But if you tie them loose enough, um, they don't like hurt across the front and then it's just dealing with the height of the shoe because uh, there's no platform. But they don't hurt with them being like pointed. There's a zip up the back to get in, like, because they are like really lace up, like right across the foot. They're just unreal. Like, I posted a picture on Instagram, Public Desire re regrammed it, and I got like over a thousand likes on the picture. So, thank you for that. That was great. Uh, so, clearly, everybody loves these shoes, and I absolutely adore them. So, can't recommend these enough. I would definitely recommend getting these. And these were 30. And again, I got the. 10% student discount so these are 27 um, so yeah like just absolutely amazing so that was everything in my haul um, I hope you enjoyed it I hope it wasn't too long or too short um, yeah so that was everything for this month that I bought outside of Primark because I always do my Primark hauls separately because I buy a lot in Primark so I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up or a like no a thumbs up and a like is the same thing so give it a thumbs up you know, give me a comment if you want me to do anything different or, you know, just whatever you want to say to me. And um, if you subscribe, that would be great. That really helps me out. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.